Well, in the past two years, uh, siftables have evolved quite a bit. And so has my thinking about them. You know, I believe now that the way that this idea can get into the world and make the biggest impact is if we put the technology out there in a way that allows people to tinker with it and build on it to create whatever they want. So when we first started, Siftables was this idea of how we could make technology dramatically better by making it hands-on and making it very physical. And we had this idea of hand tools for the digital age, kind of like the way we work with wood or metal today, but instead of those materials, we're working with information. There's a do-it-yourself renaissance happening right now, especially in technology. People are getting inspired to, to learn how their technology works and to modify it to suit their needs. And in some cases, this do-it-yourself movement can disrupt established industries. It's not really any different than wanting to make your own quilt or your own jewelry or build your own house. The impulse is timeless, but the materials have changed. So in areas of craft like computer software, electronics, three-dimensional printing, manufacturing, individuals are becoming empowered to invent new ideas and build them using these technologies. So at Siftio, we're part of this movement. I'm part of the do-it-yourself tribe personally, and our company has been enabled by this movement. So today I want to tell you a story about how this do-it-yourself movement is growing and building on itself exponentially by telling you about something that we saw at my company happen right before our eyes. So we, we had a, a, a meetup about two months ago where we invited all of our early adopters, a small group of people who already had our product, to come in and talk to us and talk to each other. And there was this one guy, an engineer uh, named Rajiv, who came in and at first was making small talk. And then at a certain point, he said, you know, uh, I made an application for my Siftio cubes. Do you want to see it? And we said, of course. <laughs> so Rajiv pulled out his computer and got his Siftio cubes out. And he showed us this really cool sentence-making application that he had built, where you get a sentence broken across a few different cubes, and you put them together to complete the sentence. And once you do, it cheers for you, and it adds the right punctuation. Let me show you how it looks. At this meetup, something really interesting happened. There was a young girl, probably six years old, who had come with her mom named Holly. And Holly started playing Rajiv's sentence-making application. And at first, her mom was collaborating with her, giving her ideas, why don't you try this, what about that? But at a certain moment, it just clicked. And Holly got it. And she started making those sentences really fast and ripped through all the sentences that were in there. So we have Holly having fun making sentences. We have her mom really pleased that Holly had this uh, activity that challenged her, but then she had success. And Rajiv delighted that Holly was there trying his application and having this fun experience. That was my double aha moment. The two things were, number one, Rajiv found our software development kit floating around online and built this application with it without any help from us. We didn't even think it was ready for people to use yet, but he did it. And then, Holly, interacting with this application that Rajiv had built, had this really fun, engaging learning experience. And I just thought that was amazing. So, people, the takeaway for me is that people just want to create. And more than that, they want to create things that help other people. So, as an engineer turned entrepreneur, for me, I'm excited to build technology that enables this. And at Siftio, we want to invite all of you to collaborate with us and build applications for yourself and for each other. My last thought is that 
I think this creative impulse to build things for each other can provide a key piece of what the world needs today. Thank you very much. Rajiv with us. Uh, yeah. So I, I just wanted to ask you guys a couple quick questions. So Rajiv, what uh, motivated you to take this early code and to create this application? Um, I've always been just inspired by you know hacking computers and getting cute stuff. So, <laughs> did you get a hacking? So I, I mean, I started with an Apple II way back when, and just you know inspired by seeing graphics on a screen, and so. Anytime I see something new or innovative, I'm always like, hey, I want to engage that. I want to see what I can do with it. It's great. Well, that curiosity, that excitement, I mean, really, it, it breaks down this wall between creator and consumer, doesn't it? I mean, quite dramatically. Did you want to t say anything about that, that boundary that Rajiv was straddling between creator and, and... I think that's exactly right. That boundary is being broken down more and more every day. And that's really what this do-it-yourself renaissance is all about, that we no longer need to rely on companies to make everything that we can use in our life. That, I mean, like I said, it's an impulse that's lasted, that's been around forever, but we can, we can have the same impulse realized with technology. And so I think Rajiv's example perfectly embodies it, because like I said, we hadn't even made this software available yet, but he found it, figured out how to use it, and made something awesome. And I think that is just the perfect example of how this is such a powerful idea. Fantastic. Thank you both very much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Another round of applause thank for Rajiv you and so David. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.